Hey guys and welcome back to another great Lightworks video. Today we are going to be playing around with the basics of 3D DVE and DVE. DVE is an abbreviation that stands for Digital Video Effects. In other words, cool cinematics in movies or videos. Now I'm going to show you the basics of 3D DVE and show you how to create a news flash using only a newspaper picture. As seen here, the newspaper spins around 360 degrees before coming to stop and displaying news flash title across it. So I'm just going to create a new edit. Name this 5. First, you're going to need a news article in JPEG format. Uh, so you import the news article. This is just a news article I got from the internet. Drag the article to the timeline. Shorten the length of the article to whatever time you want, but I'm going to use two and a half seconds. Now, something to be wary about is that the time Lightworks uses is different because in every second there's only 30 milliseconds. This is because it reduces the CPU sit usage therefore the computer performs better and more efficiently at rendering videos so I'm going to go to the time counter which is located at the bottom left of the screen canvas and type 2.15 so I'm going to do that now 2.15 press enter and the red line should be at 2.15 let's just check uh, yeah okay so it's at 2.15. So now you are going to press delete at that point and leave at least two or three seconds of another piece of article. So we're going to go, th so 2.15 plus three seconds is 5.15. So type in the time count again, 5.15, click enter and press delete at that point. Uh, point and you're going to delete the rest because we don't want the rest so now we've got two separate pieces of image so now if we would just play that it's just a simple article so now I'm just going to click add go to effects add uh, under DVE there should be 3D DVE, so you're going to click that. <coughs> now to the hard part. The 3D DVE is broken into two main parts, rotation and position. The rest are for decoration, such as pivot, crop, shadow, and the rest. Now, you have to visually think of a cube in your mind. It has a length, a width, and a height. The letters uh, X, Y, and Z corresponds with these values, Z being the height, Y being the, the width, and Z, X being the length. But of course that's simple, but if you put rotation in it, it becomes a lot harder. So X rotates the picture up and down, so I'll just rotate the picture up and down like that. Y rotates it left and right as you can see there left and right and Z rotates it around like in like when you're rotating a piece of paper on a table so it's pretty much 2D next thing to think about is the position the position is much simpler as the X and Y are very similar to coordinates while the Z is essentially a resize tool but it's not actually so if I'll just play around with this, it's just a, uh, it just moves on the x-axis and it moves on the y-axis so there's not much there uh, so it's not much there the z value moves the picture up and down so it's pretty much a resize tool but it's not actually when you imagine a cube or prism, the X and Y represents coordinates on the face of a cube or prism. 
while the z value represents the depth or the height. Okay, enough theoretical stuff. So what what you're going to do is you got your 3D DVI. So you're going to tick the boxes under rotation tick z the clocks and under position tick the z value of the clock. So now type of value of 20 in position z. So at the start of the first piece you're going to type in 20. Next uh, move to the end of the first piece. So what you're going to do is just go down to the uh, mini timeline under effects in the effects box and move your red line all the way down to the end of the video and now you're going to type in of under uh, rotation Z you're going to type in here 359 degrees and click enter next you're going to go down to rotation Z again and type in a value of 0 0.4 and click enter now if we will play it as you can see the article rotates 369 degrees from a distance and travels towards us why 359 degrees because in lightworks there is no 360 degrees 360 degrees means 0 degrees so now you're going to go to the second piece of your article or your yeah, your article and you're going to add 3D DVI again so you're going to untick all the clocks if you haven't and now you're going to go down to under rotations Z you're going to type in 359 degrees again and under position Z you're going to type in value of 0 0.14 and click enter so now, so you must be careful that you untick the clocks in the second piece of your Lightworks video. So now if I would play that from the start. As you can see, the flashback is very simple to create, but it takes a lot of time to understand the concepts of it. What I have done here in my version of the flashback is that I've added text within with the typewriter effect. The live text is, is also a separate text to the flashback text. You can understand more about text in my previous video, how to add text in Lightworks, but that's all for, for now. I'll be continuing 3D DVE in the next video. I hope you enjoyed. Share, give us a like if you want more. Thanks a lot, guys, for watching. See you soon.